With an explosive season 1 and a prequel movie, Jujutsu Kaisen's anime debut has been more than well received, where even the manga has exploded in growth. Personally, I've watched season 1 over and I asked myself, what are some of my favorite techniques? Hey guys, this is Ka from Fire Studios TV, the who's, what's, where's, when's and tens of anime. And today, we'll be looking at the top 10 best techniques from Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1. In this list, we'll be looking at curse and non-curse techniques, and it can include multiple entries from one character. If you haven't seen Jujutsu Kaisen as yet, I'm issuing a spoiler alert. So without further ado, let's begin. Cursed energy flashes black! Black Blast! Starting off this list at number 10 with Yuji Itadori's Black Flash. With every anime comes those times when a character has to overcome their limits and perform techniques they would not be able to do regularly. Black Flash is one of those techniques. To pull it off, one has to have total concentration to slip in the zone of heightened human ability with a bit of luck. Though not a signature technique of Yuji, he did manage to pull it off four times in a row in stunning awe against Hanami. At our number 9, Kento Nanami's Ratio Technique and Collapse. With a single blow. Ratio Technique, Collapse! Up against Mahito, we finally get to see Nanami go to work at overtime another one of his techniques. But with him having the ability to forcibly create a weak point on his opponent, we now get to see what he was building up to. When he released Collapse, my jaw dropped. It was satisfying and worth it. Now I know why he's so highly rated even in Gojo's book. At our number eight, Nobura's Hairpin. All right, I haven't shown you this one yet, have I? She's no Sakura. <laughs> Sakura fans are gonna kill me for that one. Since the moment we met Nobura, we knew she was a badass. After all, girls like her are usually badasses, aren't they? Her curse techniques are scary alone, but in one of the last episodes of the season, she showed us that she can be even more terrifying with her hairpin technique. Cursed energy is imbued into nails and it erupts with explosive force like a bullet at point blank range. Man, that looks amazing. Now for our number seven, Megumi's Chimera Shadow Garden. Domain expansion! Chimera Shadow Garden! After getting his butt handed to him by Sakuna and losing his friend, he vowed to never hold back, to be as greedy as ever and consume everything. This special grade spirit was doomed when he decided to go up against Megumi. He finally unleashed his domain expansion and though incomplete, it totally slaps. It creates multiple conjured beasts, which attacks simultaneously along with Megumi hitting from every direction. This was so epic, it had me at the edge of my seat. Boogieing its way to our number 6 is Toto's Boogie Woogie. It's simply swapping my position for that of my opponents. The Boogie Woogie! Toroshi. Imagine being able to trade places with anything that you want simply by clapping. Pretty cool, right? Not only that, he has that big brother protector vibe going on for him where he follows his own rhythm. Easily one of the top five fan favorites. Starting out, he was ordered to take out Yuji, but instead became his best friend by degeneracy, of course, best way to form friendships. These two would then unleash their newfound friendship on Hanami in a way that can only be described as heartwarmingly badass. Halfway through our list at number five, Mahito's self embodiment of perfection. Silk embodiment of perfection! I could feel those hands crawling all over. Ooh, that wasn't fun. But what makes it an awesomely scary technique is he has the ability to manipulate the souls of those he touches. But in his domain, even though it's incomplete, 
it discards all of those rules and simply allows him to turn you into a mindless man-eating beast. Is anyone else getting Zeke Jaeger Beast Titan vibes from him? No? Just me? Rising up from the grave, Jogo's Coffin of the Iron Mountain. Domain expansion! Coffin of the Iron Mountain. If just being near Mr. Mount Fuji makes weak spirits explode into flames, then imagine being dragged into a volcano. In his own words, What? Most sorcerers would have been burned to ash the moment they entered my domain. This shows just how hot this place is. Not leaving a body, you're simply turned into ash. I thought it was destructive and beautiful. Here comes one of my favorites of all time at number 3, Sakuna's Malevolent Shrine. Domain Expansion Malevolent Shrine Though it's only seen for a brief moment and not much is known about the upper limits of this ability, when a special grade decides to overstep his boundaries, he gets rudely awakened. He gets hit with a relentless barrage of slashes meant to cleave and dismantle. This leaves the special grade as dead as a doornail. Lesson here, never mess with Sakuna. At number 2 comes Gojo's Hollow Technique. Purple. This man is broken. That's all I can say. Seems like all Kakashi needed to do was to change anime and he got a significant power boost. Jokes aside, Gojo is no joke. Combining his blue attraction and red repulsion techniques, he creates deep purple. A massive destructive power sphere able to detect and blow away everything in its path with a little effort. Gojo shows us why he is the most feared Jujutsu sorcerer. I bet you're really loving this video. Here's a great way that you can support us. Like, share, and subscribe to get notified of when we post new content. To actually get notified, click on that notification bell. Now back to the video. Domain Expansion. And at number one, Gojo's Infinite or Unlimited Void. You know me, I'm a fan of epic powers and explosive battles, just like the other guy. And Gojo shows us how it's done. Just imagine, fighting your opponent, and then he flies off, gets a student, and comes back to teach that student how to beat you down. Man, that must be embarrassing. I mean, really. You're kind of weak. <laughs> After you release your baddest technique, Gojo's infinite void causes the victim to receive all kinds of stimuli and information endlessly. This will restrain your thought process and your actions. Not being able to move, you will be at the mercy of Gojo. One hit KO. Have you been enjoying this video? Check out this recent video and even some of our playlists. And remember to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified of when we upload new videos.